When you start AutoCAD 2022 for the very first time, this is how your user interface is going to look like. It also depends on the software which you are using and its version. I am using here AutoCAD 2022 version. All version is exactly same. They will work in a similar way but the user interface will be different that you have to figure out the place where are they located. This is the start screen of AutoCAD software. Now you have to go to new and you have to click this acad.dwt template. In some version start drawing option will be there. Click that start drawing also to start your new drawing. This is the start screen of AutoCAD software. That is, this is the user interface. And now a new tab is open here. Here we have different parts of AutoCAD software. Let's see one by one. The first one is Quick Access Toolbar. This is called Quick Access Toolbar. This home insert, annotate, parametric, view, manage, output and so on is called ribbon. This is the ribbon area. To show menu bar, you have to click this down arrow. Click show menu bar. This file, edit, view, insert, format, tools, draw, dimension, so on. This is called menu bar. Next one is status bar. This is called status bar. Next one is command bar. This is called command bar. This is called navigation bar. We should also know about the file extension. In AutoCAD, two file extensions are mostly used. .dwg and .dxf. .dwg means drawing. That is, AutoCAD file is saved in this format only once we finish our drawing. .dxf. This is for what? If we want to import our plan in another software to continue design that is to create 3d work we can save file in .dxf format to activate any command all you need to do is just click on its icon and the command will start see if you click this line command you can start to draw line or you can also use the command bar to type your command. If you press L enter, which is the shortcut key for line command, the same thing you can draw here. This is our drawing area. Let's first make our very first drawing quickly. For, for that first type L enter in the command box. Now when you do that, you will notice that your cursor will look like this two intersecting lines. This type of cursor is called point selection cursor. And also right next to cursor you will see this kind of tooltip. If you have this kind of tooltip that's fine and this is called dynamic input tooltip. If you don't have this you can bring it using F12 function key. And now to specify first point Click at a point and that's going to be your first point. Now click again and that is your second point. Click again, this is your third point. Click again, this is your fourth point. And now you can join here. Alright, and here we have the very first drawing. Once you have finished making your drawing, press enter to exit from the command. Because after making line, your command will still remain active. So now let's talk about navigation tools. How to move a diagram in AutoCAD. 
Let's draw now a simple circle. For that first click circle, click here and this is second click. Now the circle is ready. If you want to navigate your drawing, that is if you want to move this circle and this rectangle, then you can do that using your middle mouse wheel. Press and hold the middle mouse wheel. When you do that, your cursor will change to this hand icon. Now move your mouse and the whole drawing will move along with it. You can also zoom your drawing by rotating your middle mouse button. Now let's see how to select your drawing. To select anything in your drawing, all you need to do is just click on it and that object will be selected. Like this you have to click so that the object will be selected. To deselect anything, press escape key and it will deselect your selection. To exit any command, press escape key and you can press escape key couple of times also. If you have lots of object to select like here rectangle is there and circle also there and if you have many objects to select at a time for that you can use windows. So click at the point and let go your cursor then move your cursor to the right. This window is called selection window and everything which is completely inside this window is selected. Now click here. See here all the objects are selected. Press escape couple of times. Now the second window is crossing window and for this click here and let go of the cursor. Just click left side. This window is called crossing window. Any object which even touches the boundary of this crossing window will be selected. In this case three lines of rectangle and a circle is selected. They are not completely inside and if you click they will still be selected like this. One circle and three lines of rectangles are selected. Third kind of selection is lasso selection. For this selection press and hold your left click. Now move on your mouse. This is called lasso selection. And that's it. I hope this AutoCAD introduction video is helpful to you. In the coming videos, I will post how to set units and limits easily step by step. So keep watching it. Share this video to your friends and do support Civil Engineering Shilu's updates. Thank you. We are doing 3D elevation design work at really affordable cost with unique design. If you want, you can contact 93539 You can check our Facebook page Kartik Designs also. In that page, we have posted the recent design also. Thank you.